All right, guys. We are playing the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Ooh. It's actually a free game on Steam. You can go check it out. Developed by Sega themselves. So, uh, I don't know what this game entails. Apparently, Sonic dies, and we're trying to solve a mystery. So, let's do it. New game. Yes. Woo. Made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of time. Oh, a schedule. <laughs> so far, so good. For my first day on the job, who is this guy? Oh, I totally forgot my name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. I'll just sign my name here. L L Lola. That's my name. Hello, my name is Lola. Lola, did I spell that right? Yes, I did. Hope passengers can read my scribble. I'm the Kataka, and my fur is all red. Dining car. Let's go. Um, uh-oh. Am I nervous? Is this first day on the job jitters? Working the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, Lola, shake it off. Jeez. Did the conductor just slap me? <laughs> Little... <coughs> Lola, did I, uh... Just see you hitting yourself? I slapped myself that hard? Jeez. M Mr. Conductor, sir. How are you doing this morning? <laughs> Quite all right myself, though feeling a little bittersweet. Is everything all right? Is that because you're a sweetie? That sounds stupid. <laughs> Is everything all right? Well, truth be told, not really. Alas, today's my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Oh, congrats. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Yes, goodbye, conductor. Oh, congratulations on the retirement, sir. Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got our plane tickets, too. Spagnol... Spag... Spagon... Spagon... Spagonia. Spagonia. Locked. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Our showers been on the fritz. So I'm excited to use the hotels. Faha. <laughs> okay. Does that mean he has not showered in a long time? I can see why his wife's excited. Oh my goodness. He's a stinky boy. Enough of my quibbles. Quabbles. Today's your first day working the dining car. Here's the menu for today. Menu added to your inventory. I can open the inventory anytime to view items I've received. I should look over the menu carefully. Okay. Menu items. Chili dog, ramen, chicken, cordon bleu. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. Really? That's terrible. <laughs> Though I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve in a dining car? Nope. Nope. Chicken cord on blue. Ding, ding, ding. Glad you can read the menu, okay? <laughs> a little about the vessel. This is a state-of-the-art, high-speed, smart train with all the latest gadgets. I wish it had like little sounds as it goes along to make it more immersive. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 22 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? Oh, is the event just a murder game? A murder mystery? A murder mystery party. So Sonic's not actually dead. That's awesome. That's awesome. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. Guests will be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that, you'll be on your own. Thanks. Thanks. Throw me to the wolves. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understood? I'll try. I'll make, 
I'll make you proud, sir. I can't afford to lose this job. <laughs> I can't afford to lose this job. You sure can't. The severance pay is lousy. <laughs> what? What? I'm pretty sure if I get fired, I'm not getting any, any severance pay. Doors to the Mortgage Express are opening. All aboard! All aboard. That's a nice looking train. I like that. With a star window. Hmm. Amy. Knuckles. And I think that's the man himself, Sonic. Amy! Wow! This train is incredible! What fascinating tech! I'm probably gonna forget <laughs> that voice very soon. You're right, Tails. I can get used to staying on a train like this. <coughs> a female voice. Okay. What did you all expect? You know, I always go all out for my birthday party. Oh my god, another female voice. Gotta make this one sexier. <coughs> I don't know how to do this. <laughs> oh. This is probably the only time we're gonna tell voices. <laughs> this train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. I don't think I sound like a female there at all. <laughs> Calm down there, Roach. Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? <clears throat> it was a pen, Knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pen? What cast of characters am I stuck with? Get a hold of yourself, Lola. You're sweating through your uniform. I've done that before. Not not a very nice look. <laughs> hey, pal. Can I get one of those chili dogs? Ah, uh, of course, sir. Radio friend. Radio friend. Well, aren't you friendly? Why can't I be normal for one second? <laughs> I'm not normal. <gasps> Sonic. Okay, I, I, I'm dropping the voices. Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's roles to get food. Haha, <laughs> sorry about that, birthday girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, Lola, won't you? Just click on whoever you like to talk with, and we'll collect their tickets. Uh, oh, okay, got it. Oh, nice. Um, let's talk to Shadow. Here. Thank you. Thank you. Everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? Hmm. Do you sell gift bags here? Uh oh, no, sadly. But I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I could give get for you. Hmm. That's there. Mrr, so cold. Lola, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? Ha. Huh. No, no, I'm good. I could talk to him again. Why would I want to do- let me do that again. What else do you need? Can I take your order? Nothing, just saying hello. Can I take your order? Only three items on the menu. Sorry, sir. It's not everything to your liking. I just expected a bit more from a train so state-of-the-art. You don't even have drinks listed. He's not wrong, but I'm still offended somehow. We offer water, coffee, and Chaos Cola as well, sir. Chaos Cola sounds awesome. I'll have to take you up on the coffee soon. Just the beans and a spoon, though. I can't get a read on this guy. All right, uh, let's talk to this person. Conduct, can we please see your ticket? SBO. of course. There's the ticket. Excellent, thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely, I appreciate it. There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence put me at ease. Oh, look at him with the rose. You consider me calming? He's looking right at me. Is he reading my thoughts? I studied ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Oh, he is reading my thoughts. Wow, ninjutsu. That sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you cling onto walls? Cling onto walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. I don't want to talk to him again. Let's talk to the birthday girl. Could I please get the birthday girl's ticket? <laughs> Why, certainly. Thank you, miss, and thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. 
Who doesn't love a good bargain? And a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. <laughs> oh my goodness, those true crime podcasts. I hear them all the time because family members listen to them. Maybe we should leave her to have fun. Before we move along for you. Before we move along for you, miss. Oh, how fun. What, what, who, you gave that, who gave her a key? Thank you. Where do I use this? That unlocks any doors in the train. Happy birthday. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. Very useful. We'll use this wisely. Thank you. Will you? Will you, Amy? I want to talk to you. May I have your ticket, please? <laughs> Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. A princess such as myself must always be punctual. All right, Blaze. P princess? Did she just say princess? If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. A separate what? Just here for Amy's birthday. Then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own. So I admit, I am a bit excited. Oh, <laughs> you don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Sh should I bow? Do I bow before it, princess? What are you doing? Please get up. <laughs> <laughs> Step on my face! <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Why can I not win with this group? <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, let's talk to Knuckles. Howdy. Could I please get your ticket? Jeez, Knuckles, come on. I think that's a ticket. Like his is all crumpled up. But I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks fine. Thank you. Seems. The conductor doesn't want to argue either. Huh. That was... Let's talk to Knuckles again. Maybe we should leave this dude alone. Actually, never mind. Can I take your order? Not interested. Either he's really not interested or he doesn't know how to read. The chicken cordon blue does sound good, though. Well, that answers that. Okay. Uh... You. I can... Wait, what? I'm gonna... Let's do that. Mmm, <clears throat> yummy. Don't mind if I do. Lola, those are for our guests, you know. Train. Be sure Lola only gets one of those if they ask. Mm, arm. <laughs> Did the arm just kindly nod? They probably use sign language. Actually, uh, train. The conductor wants me to have the whole plate. He's calculating it. <laughs> Good try, young buck. The train and I have worked together a long time. You'll have to work harder than that to get what you want. Drat. Those snacks look really tasty too. I am so greedy. Can I do it again? Hmm, yummy. Don't mind if I do. Lola. Okay, it's just a repeat. Let's skip through this. Yep, 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 yep. I didn't know it was going to just repeat itself. Thought I was going to have another interaction. Rouge. Well, hello, you two. What can I do for you? Wow, she greeted us first. Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? My, my. How forward? Let me fetch it for you. Come back if you need anything else. You hear? Wow, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. Gonna have to kindly ask for that back. <coughs> oh, my. Yeah. Oh, this was yours? Must have slipped out. Here you go. I may not actually be the best at judging character. Want a thief? <laughs> Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Uh, yeah, sure. Of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I love to show you my ticket. He seems to be avoiding eye contact. Is something amiss, sir? I seem to have um misplaced my ticket. Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't hear you. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Is that blood? Is that blood over his apron? Don't you worry. We'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Ah. That would be amazing. Thanks a million. Seems as though we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. 
So you're saying the ticket's somewhere around here. Tails has an extra ticket in their hand. Can I get your ticket, Younging? There's a ticket. Right here, sir. Thank you. May I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. Ooh. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. No way. I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me too. It's my first day and I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous. You're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. Haha. <laughs> Absolutely. If you need anything, let just let us know. Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. The ticket's gone. Ticket, please. Thank you, Sonic. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself aboard. Hmm? Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst. But my kid swore you would swoop in eventually. And you did. I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second, is he? Is he Sonic the Hedgehog? I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. Y yes have fun now. Will do, thanks. I spoke to everyone, I don't... I didn't even see these there. Thanks. What? Sticking out of the napkin holder. Say, wasn't someone looking for their ticket earlier? Let's be sure to return this to its rightful owner. And let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. Lost ticket is added to your inventory. Found anything yet? Well, we just might have what you need. Lola, why don't you show our friend here what we picked up? Ah, there it is. That's my ticket. Thanks so much to the both of you. Was really worried you'd kick me out and I'd miss the murder mystery. Haha, <laughs> oh, Lola here would have their hands full kicking you out. You're right. I wouldn't leave without a fight. <laughs> oh, jeez. I would have lost that fight. <laughs> Wait, who made me both microwave expert and security guard? You're both all right in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course. Just let us know if you need anything else. Okay, everyone. Time for me to read out everyone's rose for the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. Ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express. Absolutely, you can count on me. To be honest, this group seems plenty capable on their own. And train. Assist Lola if they need any help, won't you? Ah, that's all I need to hear. You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a con conductor and his train. Excellent, I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a, ph a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place either. This train is state of the art and has systems for dealing with all that. For everything else, please talk to Lola here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Will do. Goodbye now. I like that guy. Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent you. <laughs> You all look amazing. I trust you all read your lore cards as well. Lore cards? That must be the details of their motivations. I suppose it makes sense. Lore cards aren't read out loud. Otherwise, people would know the murderer's intentions. Now on. Now on to the nitty gritty for the murder mystery game. One of you will be murdered and arrest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters they will be playing. Participation is required for it to... For it is my birthday! <laughs> of course. Of course. Uh, uh, of course. <laughs> I don't remember the voice! I told you! Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you are a ship captain and you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain will go. Tells you are the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. In doobie blah 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 blah. <laughs> Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Rude 
Scrooge, you're a business tycoon, and Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? There, there is none. Hmm. 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 Sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher. Oh, that's that explains the blood. And Espio, the poet, both found in the library. Hear that, Espio? We get to hang out together. Espio should probably be the murderer, otherwise he's just gonna read people's thoughts. Which is not fair. And find out who it is. And do what? Read? Maybe we can. Make a tower of books or something. Shadow, is this locksmith hanging out in the lounge? Hmm. And, last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Yeah. Uh, I was listening in. Hope that's okay. More than okay. You can help ensure everyone's following the rules. Oh, that reminds me. I have a map for each of you. Oh, that's cool. Okay, in front of the train. No one's in the back of the train. Sonic's by himself in the front. Cool. I like this. Everyone's station is marked on this map as well. How convenient. Map added to your inventory. The rules of the game are... There's a murderer amongst you all! The murderer can kill a single participant however they choose, but you must physically be present with the victim for it to count! Everyone must, else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so suspect, so inspect everything you can! Find clues and interrogate! I set a timer for one hour, so everyone can mingle, and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone to your stations! <laughs> I hope that's not annoying in the video. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> I'm just gonna read normal. Ah, this is so exciting. A mystery. I, I, now nah, I'm stuck doing it. A mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. I know, it's kind of scary. How thrilling I have goosebumps. Same! Ah, isn't it awesome? Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. <clears throat> this, this way, there's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. And who created them? My backstory is that I was best friends with a flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. <laughs> I'm nosy. Not gonna lie. Oh, wow, that's me. That's my, my thoughts. That should not be Amy's voice. Not gonna lie. This sounds, this kind of sounds fun. Yes. It must be really fun to join a real life murder mystery. Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. What? The train started moving. It, it's so fast. Grab onto something. What is going on? Am I? I'm slipping. H hold on. I, I can't. Ah, ah. No. What just happened? Something terrible is going on. My microwave! You're both awake! Y yeah. It seems the train has slowed down considerably. Is everyone alright? Wow, how exhilar- That's- No, no, is everyone alright? Yeah, my head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. It seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. This train can teach such incredible speeds. Can reach such incredible speeds. 
We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others. Lola, could you get the door? Of course. Uh, it seems the door is blocked. And I don't think it's budging. Amy, give that fallen shelf a whack with your pico pico hammer. Hmm? Let's find another way out. I'll uh, start looking for clues. I'll search over here. I know Amy, she's hiding something. Huh? Huh? I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet. And then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather her evidence and interrogate. Got it. All right. Gather her evidence. Oh. I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? Understood. Just a memory, right? You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex-flicky companion did. Happy to hear it. Now, let's get searching. Did you lose your... Alright. What can I click on? Okay, so this... The shelf blocking our exit, it's currently not budging. Hey Lola, look close closely at this. It's br I think she tried smashing it. I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. It's nothing the shelf could have fallen into. And I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should log it. Crack on the shelf is added to your inventory. Some things, some things always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, it's empty. But on the bright side, this is a very clean trash bin. How do I become as optimistic as this kid? What do you think, Tails? Want me to cook any of this for you? When we get out of here, sure. I normally never make microwave meals. I prefer to cook. My cast iron skillet has gotten a lot of use lately. I can cook a mean cast iron pizza. Haha. <laughs> oh. Is that a thing? I need to I need to Google that. I've only had microwave lunches this week. There's a hammer right there. Ah, the wet floor sign. Keeping people alert and safe. Once I slipped on some spilled juice at the grocery store, no wet floor sign at all. So you sued, right? Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. So you sued, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> wow, Sonic really is as fast as they say. But he was going so fast, he also slipped on the juice. We slid into an older gentleman's shopping cart. Well, it's a thought that counts, I suppose. What's this, a rod? She broke her hammer. The tip is broken. It looks like... It looks to have originally been attached to something. I'm not sure if it's related to the mystery, but I like spinning it around. So, we'll keep it. Stick is added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Amy and find out what really happened. What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out? On a train? I'll keep looking. <clears throat> okay, so this is the same, same convo. Start the interrogation. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. What? You accused me on my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't going to be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she be, have been done in that time? Try to break the bookshelf and broke her hammer and said, Microwave the chili dog attempted to escape. Murdered a sussy. Attempted to escape. I don't think you were sitting idly while Lola and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. Show me evidence that I attempted to escape or help me search for a way out. Do we have evidence to prove that? Lola, let me step you through this. First, 
Find a correct piece of evidence in your inventory once that has been deduced. We must form an argument to fight back. All right, let's do it. What proves Amy attempted to escape the dining car closet? This did. Hmm, I'm not quite sure. This will convince Amy. Let's give it another try. What evidence proves Amy attempted... Oh, the, the broken bookshelf. Yeah. This. What? Some damage on the shelf is supposed to prove something? It fell over. Damage makes sense. You have no argument here. You're grasping. Ugh. Okay, Tails. What now? Well, now we've followed the train of thought. How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? So now I have to explain myself. Well, you see, I, uh, well... Hmm, when I get stumped, I like to think. What would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting rings, crushing bad mix. He never loses. Like, like an endless runner game. I play a lot of those on my phone. Uh, sure, whatever works. Just close your eyes and think. What would Sonic do and find your argument? All right, let's prove we're not grasping. Let's follow the train of thought and fire a comeback. Like Sonic would do. Think. Oh, we're playing? Wait. Okay. Collect rings. Oh, I got enough rings. And I got the great train of thought. <clears throat> what makes Sonic so clever? <clears throat> sure, the shelf fell. But there's nothing around for the shelf to fall onto into. You're telling me, on a train, this well kept. The damage was here before we arrived? <gasps> well, well, I... I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall onto. What was the shelf hit with then? With this. <gasps> what is it? A stick? You truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage? It's your hammer. Oh no! Oh no! What? I couldn't move! Uh, well, if we look at it, um, closely, you see, you, I think you've been twirling around that stick a bit too much. Lola, let's try to follow the train of thought again, shall we? Yeah, uh, I don't know why the first moment I got hit, I couldn't move anymore. Okay, I got enough. Cool. Cool. <clears throat> You're right. A stick can't do this kind of damage to the shelf on its own. But if it's attached to something, it could. Like, let's say, a hammer. Ah! This isn't a stick at all, is it? <laughs> this is actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer. You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. The handle to your hammer snapped right off. Ah. Ah. It's as you both said. I tried to get us all out with my hammer, but it failed. I gave the shelf a good big whack, <laughs> and the handle ripped right off. I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I needed it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective and I dabble as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of the hammer. Just tighten things here, a little elbow grease there, and fix. Tails, thank you. According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. All right, stand back. <coughs> oh, yeah. Oh. <coughs> Sorry, clearing my throat. Yeah. 
Go so long shelf. That shelf completely shattered. Incredible. We did it. We're free. Good job, Amy. Let's get get out of here. They didn't expect this game to be this long. Wait, is that <gasps> Sonic? It can't be Sonic. Someone murdered my darling Sonic, and she look at her face. Looks like the game's begun. I'm finding out who did this at once. Amy, wait. I want to figure out who did this too. Wait for me. What a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. Sonic? Sonic? Uh. Body numb. Can't move. What are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to rest. Sonic! Sonic! Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? My hand's on his wrist, but I don't sense a pause. Am I doing this right? What in the world is going on? Is this part of the murder mystery, or is this serious? Sonic! Sonic! Oh no. Oh no! I feel myself panicking. Calm down, Lola. What do I do? I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understood? These guests are incredibly renowned, which means they must be remarkably rich. I don't remember him saying that part. So I leave their care to you, Lola, my favorite employee. Surely you won't let me down on this last ride. <laughs> are you the murderer, conductor? Is the train the murderer? <laughs> I need to catch up to Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this. Even if this is part of a game, I just can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. Are we still on the road but going very slowly? The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Was that all an intro to just get to this part? Oh, poor gaming cabinet. The saloon. Whoa, look at this place. Amy, Amy, are you here? Hey, Tails, where are you? Uh, let's let's go with Amy. She might need more help than Tails does. I've looked around. I don't see her. I think Amy's already gone on ahead. It seems she's really excited. Did you need something from me? Um, yeah. Just a quick question, really. How do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> he, he's laughing. Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're just all really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about, promise. Plus, Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. He's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game, or is there something deeper happening? I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Can I tag along with you? It's my job to keep an eye on you. Can I tag along with you? If you don't mind, is it cool if I tag along with you? Oh, of course, sure. Now if I ever need a snack, you've got me. Ha, huh, fair. <coughs> As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because, uh, where's my lore card? The last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Not a proper detective without baggage. That, this is true. Ye varmints! What are ye all doing in my saloon? He's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles! We're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic! I can't see that. Amy mosey through and told me all about it. <coughs> Enough of that. I <coughs> wonder how long he kept that vo voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and... Nope. I have nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. 
He's obviously agitated about something. But why take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Lola, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. Let's investigate for clues and then interrogate. Right, let's do it. Ah, the bowl of assorted nuts, the classic saloon snack. Crunch, 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 kind of bland. Hmm, seems like someone licked all the salt off them. Ew! Tails, did you eat one? Ew! What? what? Ugh. 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 Or maybe they're just unsalted. The robotic arms here are really helpful. Complete and utter silence. What? What's the arm doing to my hair? He fixed it up a bit. That's incredible. What? What interesting tech. Uh. Uh oh. Should I fear for my job a little bit? How well can I it microwave? <laughs> Lola, this is interesting. What is? It's just a few unused cups. There's like lipstick on that one. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty? Lola, this, is, this one has lipstick on the rim. That's not Knuckles' color at all. Someone else must have been here. It was Rouge. We should log this. Use cup or add it to your inventory. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, this one is empty as well. Jeez. I'm starting to think your theory on something's always hidden <laughs> being hidden in the trash is flawed. The very last trash can in this game is going to have something hidden in it. Watch. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. It's as they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Haha. <laughs> I think Tails is ignoring me. Knuckles broke this. There's nothing on that side. Clearly, we won't ha be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. Do we think it broke when the train sped up? The damages look more to be caused from punches. Who could have done that? Obviously, it was Knuckles. What are you two looking at me for? Smash Arcade is added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. I thought I told you to leave me alone. I like your hat. Uh, Knuckles, are you blushing? I said, leave me alone. It doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Did you just adjust your hat a bit so we could see it better? I said, leave! Can I take your order? Mm, not hungry. Well, if you ever are, you'll be let me know, won't you? Sure. Like a butler of sorts, right? Come on, Lola. You're not a butler. Tell him that. Uh, yeah, like a butler. Excellent. Thank you, butler. Dang it. <laughs> I thought I told you to leave me alone and interrogate. Knuckles, Lola, and I need to determine what you were doing during the, the hour the murder took place. I already told you, buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. Hmm. It, it is? We have evidence, too. We, we do? Lola, just take a look, good look at your inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? Obviously this. The arcade machine, ha! Huh? What makes you think I touched it? You're losing and you touched it. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! That's so much more difficult than before. Um, well, um... You see, we... You have no argument here. You are weak. Ouch. Lola, let's follow the train of thought again. Focus. Okay, I got enough. Good. Woo. I get completely silent at those parts. 
this isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because... Super Monkey Ball is your favorite game. The arcade cabinet is covered in punches. Your hair was found at the scene. It's covered in punches. What evidence do you have that the damages are punches? Huh. Eh. What are you all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I need a punching bag, and none were available to me. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. H how will you? I'm on it, Lola. Distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on. <laughs> It's so chaotic! <clears throat> I'm glad they put plenty of uh, rings in there. The, Arca the arcade machine is fixed! No! Don't look at the scores! Quick! Look at the scores! I'm pulling it up now! He was just short by one point! Oh, that sucks! <clears throat> look at the names! Vector, Knuckles, Toast, Apple, Bread, Otim, Bagel and candy. What does this tell us? Nothing, obviously. It tells us someone something massive. Look at the name on the top of the list. It's Vector. He's supposed to be in the library car. Huh. The picture is beginning to be painted here. You competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score. And Vector beat you. Uh. And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. Urgh! He's punching the air in frustration. <laughs> I can imagine that. Oof, 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 oof. <clears throat> You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Prove to me he was here. Now, how is that a common name? Does Vector wear lip gloss? Ah! Holy smokes! Please stop scaring me! Uh, I'm so glad I passed that, even though I missed a beat. Now, Lola, what proves Vector was here with Knuckles? The cops! They were kissing cops! No! I thought it was strange. There was more than one cup sitting next to you. While you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday. You and Vector enjoyed some drinks playing arcade. It's, I'm, um, it's not like, it's not, I wasn't, and don't, don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. It's as you say, Vector popped in at the top of the hour wanting to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure out, figure the game out. But when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I wasn't trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in, honest. Oh, I was trying to fix it. I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story and alibi. I've already told an abridged version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains one of the used cups. But what is the cup with the lipstick mark? Eh. Rouge was in here too. Yeah, I figured. It's inconsequential, incon not worth mentioning. She searched around for something but failed. Made fun of our game and left. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered her a drink, apparently. Listen. I don't know why she showed up, and I've told you everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Hmm, I'm understanding the scenario. Vector visited to play games. Rouge couldn't find something and left. Then Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our qu- Actually, that's not everything, is it Knuckles? I want to step back to something I noticed. 
one more name on that high score list. Does it make sense? Ultim? Lola, can you take a look one more time? An odd name on the high score list. What is Tails talking about? I'm guessing Ultim? Because toast, apple, bread, they're all food, but this one, Ultim. All the other names have food theme, but this one. Who here goes by Ultim? You may know, not know, Lola, but there's someone here that goes by the, the title, the ultimate life form. Oh, really? Shadow. Th there's really someone here that goes by that? Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Victor and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too? He taught us the game and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Victor and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. A key? Shadow told me to lock the door and not open it for anyone. Then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him. Saw no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No, I think she has some sort of key too. That's right, the conductor gave her that special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Is Shadow locking doors? And what was Rouge searching for? I don't know, they didn't tell me, even though I asked with that cowboy accent. You're gonna have to find them and ask them yourselves. Oh, he was doing the cowboy accent that entire time? More information than I expected to get there, but it seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. The library is in the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Give whoever KO'd Sonic an earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. Will do, Sheriff. Come on, Lola. Let's head to the library. On it! This is way more exciting than microwaving chili dogs. Lola! Come it! C come it! I'm gonna save here, guys. Yeah, Lola in the saloon. <clears throat> we're gonna save here. Um, and we're gonna call it, guys. We're gonna call it. Thank you, Knuckles, for uh, for all of that. Yeah, varmints better pull up chocks, I say. Understood, Sheriff. Yeehaw! What a weird way to end this video. I've been recording for an hour. Doesn't seem like we did much, but we're going. We're we're little by little getting there. We just met with our first su suspect, Sheriff Knuckles. So, uh, I don't know. Ooh, what are I could click on these? What's this? Decent cash reward for finding this robot. Maybe I'll keep an eye out. Poor Omo Chow. Hate to see them like this. What they do? Medical malpractice. Interesting. Bre breathtaking views. Ooh. This train passes by some incredible sights. I'm just happy to be traveling at a normal speed. I get nauseous pretty easily. I have to avoid things like roller coasters. I don't mind roller coasters though. I find myself running on the tracks more than I do riding in the carts. I'll never understand this friend group. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for having joined me. This has been Lola Knuckle the Backburner playing Who Killed Sonic the Hedgehog, right? That's the name of the game, right? Is that the name of the game? Who Killed Sonic the Hedgehog? We'll see. Nope. It's the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. You guys did it, don't know a thing. So, thank you so much, guys, for having joined me. We're playing the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Join me in the next episode where we interrogate our next suspect. Who is, I don't know yet, but we will see. Have a good morning, afternoon, and evening. Bye-bye.